The force used by a Hartford police officer when tasing a teenager has been deemed justified. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brent Harton. And I'm Jen Bernstein. That's the latest information after a use of force report was released today. It also validates previous claims by officers that the taser was only active for five seconds, which is in compliance with department policy and procedure. Now, meanwhile, community activists held a rally this evening in response to the tasing of 18-year-old Luis Anglero Jr. earlier this month. Fox Connecticut's Mike Kravcik was there and joins us now. Mike. Well, Brennan Jen, despite the police report's findings, Louis Sanglero's family believe the use of force was not reasonable nor necessary. Tonight, in a peaceful protest, people from various grassroots organizations and churches, along with community leader leaders, demanded the department serve the community without using aggression or violence. People's no threat. Close to 100 people from all walks of life came out Wednesday night to march and demand justice for Louis Anglero, Jr. We as a community are not uh, sitting well with the fact that Louis was tased. A Hartford Police Sergeant determined Detective Sean Ware was justified in using a taser to subdue 18-year-old Louis Anglero. Anglero was charged with breach of peace and interfering with police. <laughs> But it's the security and cell phone video that sparked outrage. Protesters want the charges dropped. He had no weapon. He wasn't attacking a police officer. He was standing there. He didn't appear to be agitated. So what are you justifying? The protesters marched through the streets of the North End, making their final stop inside of the Hartford Police Department. We the people demand justice. Yeah. Yeah. Where activists read out loud a manifesto of their demands. We, the people, demand that charges be brought against Detective Sean Ware for excessive force. Protesters also called for Detective Sean Ware to be fired, a launch of an independent investigation, and more information about police protocols when it comes to tasers and other weapons. We want to understand and see the protocols that are used when an officer needs to determine what kind of force um, they need to implement. Hartford Police Chief James Rovella marched alongside the protesters, all while maintaining a cunning sense of silence. He says he showed up to be a neutral observer. I'm interested in a very fair, um, complete investigation that represents the interests and fairness to both the, both Lewis and to the officer. Protesters also demand the police department engage in a public forum to discuss issues of strained relations with the community. Mike Kreifsake, Fox, Connecticut.